Hi there, Cassidy, and I'm doing this for Lights, Camera, and Action, the hodgepodge group where we like to do fun videos and bring them to you uh, in the hopes that some of you are still watching. <laughs> uh, this time, our video is all about books, what we're reading, and whatnot. Uh, we have a book club. I'm just going to bring this up real quick. We have a book club, the HodgePodge Book Club. I'm one of the administrators and I've sort of been uh, doing a lot of due diligence in the, the group as of late. And we're finishing up our most current selection, which was The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Uh, a fun, humorous look at uh, murder and mayhem and weird stuff going on <laughs> in Sweden and we're actually going to begin discussions on that Sunday so for those of you who are still reading you have until tomorrow to finish up uh, but as I said I'm one of the administrators of that group and if you'd like to get in on our book club we have two more people that are getting ready to present over the next couple of months and I'm always looking for more folks so contact me if you'd like to be a presenter and we'll read your book and we'll uh, comment on it and we'll snark and whatever else and complain about how we just you know have a hard time reading it but um, getting back to the the thing of what we're doing with books one of the things that they said was you know hey talk about what you're reading well unfortunately I don't read that much these days uh, I don't have a lot of time and I'm usually tired uh, it shows up when I do read what am I reading why I'm reading me uh, as many of you know I write I've actually published two works uh, I have a novelette uh, no, novella, sorry. I have a novella under my old birth name, that name that will not be mentioned. One of these days I'll change that, uh, called Kunti Lanik. And I have a novel which is published under my current name, which is called Her Demonic Majesty. And uh, the last one was published in 2012. It's been a while since I put anything out, mostly because I've just been writing crazy non-stop. I have a novel that is a follow-up to Kunti Lanik, which I have edited, and I'm doing another edit on it soon. It is called Kohler Ijo, and I am looking for someone who can do a book cover for me, if there's anyone out there. Hey, help, let's talk. But a big part of my life for almost two years now has been working on a series uh, which I do hope one day to publish. I've been getting some nudges from uh, writer friends of mine saying, hey, you know that book you just finished up back in April uh, or March, you need to uh, start submitting it, start sending it around. Uh, easier said than done. Um, I've been working on a series that goes by the brilliantly illuminating name of the Foundation Chronicles and what it is about is a group that more or less runs things from the background. Um, they put out new advances and new discoveries and new things that people like us take for granted. Um, They've actually went so far as to do things that are not seen in normal history, like they were flying airplanes you know, decades before the Wright brothers ever got around to it. But a, a big portion of the series deals with witches. Everybody loves witches. And uh, it actually deals with a school that I have created in Massachusetts that is actually a rather large school with a very small uh, population of students where they teach them how to do all this different sort of witchcrafting. Uh, they do call it crafting. And my two main characters start out in this first book as 11 year old kids. Uh, one is a half Irish American half Welsh uh, boy who was born in 
Um, oh, now I can't think of it. <laughs> he was born in California. Uh, he was actually born in uh, Sleepy Hollow, which is an actual place in California. It's near San Rafael. And in fact, he lived not far off of Rip Van Winkle Drive and just down the street from, uh, you know, this loser dude who has a ranch, uh, goes by the name of Lucas, I think he, he is. But uh, he moved to Cardiff because his father is Welsh and his father works for the BBC now. So that's where he lives. And the other character is a 11-year-old girl who starts out as uh, she's been a witch for a while. She's known about being a witch for a long time because her family are witches. And she comes from a ski resort, lives outside the ski resort in Pamperovo, Bulgaria. And she's uh, my Bulgarian sweetie, more or less. But we go through the misadventures, more or less, of these two kids learning how to become better at what they do but as it has been pointed out to me by many of the readers of my, uh, one of my blogs, that the story is really a romance. And it's all about their adventures with each other. Uh, it's very romantic. Magic is just part of what they go through. And, um, well, it's difficult to say. Uh, but it's difficult to, to say what's going on without telling you everything. Uh, so I've been working on, I finished that novel. I started on it actually in November of 2013 and I finished it up in March of this year, 2015. In fact, I spent uh, uh, 474 days writing it with about five days off during that period of time. So that's really one of the, the biggest things that has happened with me. But included in that series is also a prequel novel that I wrote almost two years ago now in July of 2013 called The Foundation Chronicles The Scouring, which was an event that happened uh, to the school 11 years before book one came out. And now, because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do with my time, I'm writing The Foundation Chronicles Book 2, Be for Bewitching, uh, of which I've been working on since April, and I now have about 52,000 words into the book. I think that sounds like a lot. The first book, well, the first prequel novel was about 53,000 words. The first full-length actual beginning of this series novel uh, a for Advanced runs about 425,000 words. And if you're wondering how big that is in terms of what are things that we know about, it's actually bigger. It's actually bigger than the Goblet of Fire and the Order of the Phoenix put together. And it's about 20,000 words less than the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, which tops out at about 447,000 words. So my one book is almost equivalent to something that Tolkien worked on for eight years. Yes, I did mine in a year and change. So, but that's what I'm reading. You know, among other things, I have, this is my current novel. Probably can't see it very well. Let me get up here and show you. That's my current novel. Hey, looks nice, doesn't it? That's my current novel. This is my current blog, uh, Wide Awake But Dreaming. I write on this every day. In fact, Saturday I will be penning, writing, typing, whatever you want to call it, my 1,000th, 500th 
blog entry, 1,500 entries, uh, of which the last entry I missed, I believe, was September the 8th, 2011. So I've been going at it almost four years straight now. There's a picture of me from last night showing off my, um, as you've probably noticed already, my uh, swollen face <laughs> right here. Electrolysis session that I had last night. Yay. The beard is going slowly but surely. Along with my blog and my novel, I have my supporting information, which is timelines that I use for my novels. And there's my school. That's part of it. <laughs> That's just the basic part of it. Uh, this is where all the kids live. They go to school in these buildings out here and up here, the observatory, and there's stuff down to the south as well. But I actually built this in Blender back in uh, 2013, uh, September of 2013, because I was bored and this, and I wanted to see what the school looked like, and it has come in handy because I've used this entire thing at one time or another to help write. There's the entire school. That's it. It's, it's big. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, this building right here is about 550 feet long. Or essentially a football field and a half long. It's as big as a football stadium. So that gives you an idea of scale. Oops, I went the wrong way. There we go, yay. So there you go. We were told to keep it nice and short. Keep it to five minutes. I don't keep anything to five minutes. I don't worry about posting to Facebook because I have a YouTube account. <laughs> And I just post my stuff up to YouTube. But that's it. That's what I'm reading. What I'm reading is me. Um, and I hope one day you'll be reading me too. So like I said, if you want to join our book club, contact me. And uh, send me a PM and I'll get you set up. If you want to read my blog, Wide Awake But Dreaming, I post just about every day. No, actually I do. I post every day because I'm nuts. And um, like I said... One of these days I'll get more books out and maybe I'll become a world famous author and I'll be another, you know, J.K. Rawlings rich and I can get all the Hodgers together and we'll run a 747 and we'll fly over to England and we'll party with the doctor. How's that? <laughs> okay. Bye. Blue Nails.